Now, if we take a look at Disney and Lucasfilm, we can see that they are really busy with a handful of Star Wars projects. We have Episode 9 in the works. We also have the live-action TV series, Star Wars The Mandalorian, as well as two other live-action TV series. But let's not forget about the new Star Wars trilogy, also known as the fourth trilogy. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, I really wanted to focus on the fourth trilogy. You guys may have heard the big news just the other day that there's a lot of talk right now that it's going to be based within the Old Republic era, except instead of thousands of years before the Skywalker family, they're switching it to hundreds of years before the actual Skywalker saga. So that's the only big difference so far that Disney and Lucasfilm are making to the Old Republic for, of course, these set of Star Wars films. So what's really intriguing about the fourth trilogy here is that it's described that one of the plans for the fourth trilogy is to develop each movie that will be close to three hours long in length. So the running time would be in or around three hours long, give or take two hours, 45 minutes, two hours and 50 minutes, right? Somewhere around those lines. Now, it's said that the reason for this is because that these films will be very big with plenty of characters that will need in-depth character development. And it's described that the first movie in this trilogy was inspired from Lord of the Rings The Two Towers and Season 3 Game of Thrones for reference material for some of the characters. Now, it's said that one of the main characters will be portrayed by a main cast member from Game of Thrones, and that casting for the film is said to start this July of 2019. So guys, I gotta say, I'm very excited about this fourth trilogy. You know, you guys may have heard or may not have heard just a couple of days ago that there's a lot of talk that these movies are going to be Disney and Lucasfilm's version of The Old Republic. For those of you who are who are actually familiar with The Old Republic, you know, let's not forget that The Old Republic is actually not canon. It's a part of Legends slash EU material. So basically, Disney and Lucasfilm would be creating their canon version of what The Old Republic public really is what it looks like through their vision hopefully guys i gotta say hopefully they really do stay true to how it was portrayed in the video games because in the video games like i say if you guys want to go ahead and watch the cutscenes on the internet it is an amazing ride let me tell you i mean you get to see all the different sith lords in action all the different jedis in action i think that these movies really are going to be catered to a lot of the people who are really in tune or really pretty much you know familiar with you know the way things went during uh, during the times of the old republic you had a handful of sith and a handful of jedi going up against each other armies even and i think that's exactly why they're using lord of the rings specifically the two towers as a reference material as in, as an inspirational piece in order to make the first film of this trilogy feel very medieval-esque for the star wars fans now like i say is this a good idea that the new trilogy is going to be heavily based off of or inspired by i should say by, of course, Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. Well, it's nothing new per se. We do know that the sequel trilogy lightly, you know, loosely was inspired by Game of Thrones. You could already see that some cast members from Game of Thrones made it into the Star Wars films like Amelia Clark and Gwendolyn Christie. Those are great examples already, as well as the cross guard lightsaber, you know, it being like a sword and Maz Kanata's castle. I mean, you can see all the examples right there. And even Captain Phasma basically being a knight in medieval times, the way it's actually developed. So you can really see the little undertones of, you know, medieval times in the sequel trilogy already. But the fourth trilogy is really going to be basically Lord of the Rings slash Game of Thrones meets Star Wars. Literally, that's what it's going to be. And that, of course, translates to armies of Sith going up against armies of Jedi. If they really want to stay true to the Old Republic era, that's exactly what it's going to be. You know, during the times of the Skywalker saga, after the prequels, of course, after Order 66, the Jedi are basically extinct, right? We only have like one, two, you know, here and there. So what I really like about these movies is that the creators, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, you know, they're really treating these movies with special care. In case you guys did not know, they are big Star Wars fans, so that's one thing to look forward to. I don't think that they are the type of people that would let a lot of Star Wars fans down, especially the hardcore ones who are really, you know in tune with all the different video games out there and are very familiar with the old republic so guys i gotta say i'm very hopeful for the future we do know that episode 9 you know really does determine the future of this franchise 
For all we know, Episode 9 could be a massive failure and Disney and Lucasfilm would really have to shift gears and change things around of what's actually going to happen for the future of this franchise. And I think that they are taking a hiatus. There's really no sign that the first film in the new trilogy is going to launch in 2020. So it's very possible, since they do plan to film this thing in, of course, late 2019 into early 2020 for on-location shots, it's very possible that we could very well be getting the first film in the very beginning of 2021 that would honestly kind of even it out where basically you would get it in the beginning of 2021. So it really wouldn't be all that long of a wait after the release of episode 9. So anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.